the next comedian, Duncan Carson. Hey guys. Hey. Can everybody hear me okay? Uh, in the back? Or no? uh, it's hard to understand me sometimes. There is a noticeable lisp in my voice. Which I think is adorable, right, man? Right? It did, but it didn't really bother me uh, growing up with a lisp, uh, mostly because there's an S in the middle of the word, and that seems extra cruel, doesn't it? <laughs> We're suffering succotash, you guys. <laughs> it's kind of like how the word dyslexia seems a little complicated to spell. <laughs> shouldn't that be a palindrome, just to be sensitive to... <laughs> While we're here, shouldn't stuttering just be one syllable? All right. <laughs> So, uh, I think because, because I've never been that articulate, I just find talking to other people weird most of the time. Like, like my roommate, when he gets home from work, I'll say, hey man, how was work? Because like, that's what a person would say. And, uh, and he says the weirdest uh, thing sometimes, when he, if he had a good day at work, he'll be like, I was kicking ass and taking names, bro. <laughs> and every time I'm just like, o okay, but... You should probably take names first, right? <laughs> right? You can't exactly, you can't just like elbow somebody in the throat and be like, was that Peterson with an EN? <laughs> that's what you... Or if he had a bad day at work, he'll be like, oh, the shit really hit the fan at work today. What do you do for a living? <laughs> You're either fighting or throwing feces all the time. <laughs> like, I get that, like, the shit hit the fan is a metaphor, but every metaphor has to start somewhere. Right? So who do you guys think was the first person to say, uh, well, I'll tell you what, Bob, we tried to put air conditioning in the monkey habitat. <laughs> you get it. You get it. So, I don't, who can I trust to talk to me in a way that makes sense? Uh, every, like, maybe the news? The news, they know facts, right? But, but they just, they can't even say words like roadside bomb. They'll, they'll be like, some troops were killed in Afghanistan by an IED. That stands for Improvised Explosive Device. And I think they might be overestimating the Taliban's improv training. <laughs> like, are they that quick on their feet? They're like, quick, guys, there's a Humvee coming. I need a milk jug, some nitroglycerin, and a suggestion from the audience. <laughs> Let's prov it out. <laughs> maybe, uh, maybe once you get older, you know the right way to speak to people. But have you noticed that the elderly just like stupid phrases on throw pillows and embroidery? Yeah, like, like my favorite one ever is, uh, the best way to hear God laugh is to tell him your plans. <laughs> what a douchebag, right? <laughs> it's like, oh, God's just up there laughing at everybody? What's that, Duncan? You want to go to grad school? That's hilarious. <laughs> like, God, God must constantly be in hysterics. He's just like, guys, guys, come on, come here. This little girl from the projects wants to be a marine biologist. <laughs> Uh, these people in Missouri want to have a tornado-free graduation ceremony. <laughs> Plans, am I right? <laughs> so it just, I don't know, it's hard to be understood most of the time, but uh, because, here's what I forget because I do comedy, is that context is really important. Uh, not everybody has to hear my thoughts all of the time. <laughs> you guys have to hear them right now, and that's pretty special. You know? <laughs> like, I could have any thought about anything, and you have to listen. Have you heard of the Weezer cruise? You go on a boat and you see Weezer, right? It sounds fun. I thought of my own thing. It's called the Shania Twain train train. You get it? Shania Twain, she performs on a train, opening for her the band Train. That's why I said it twice. I'm not having a stroke, all right? That's, uh, that's just some ridiculous thought I had, and now you can't unhear it. You're welcome. Right? We're on a journey together. But the rest of my life, that's not how it works, you know? I go to, I go to what you'd call fast, casual dining restaurants. You know, because I'm broke, but I still have dreams, all right? And uh, your food takes a little longer there, so they say, can we have a name for your order, sir, to call it out? And here's the thing about me, guys, I mumble, and I don't have the best self-esteem, so I never nail the landing on saying my own name. <laughs> like, I wish I could just own it, head up like a gymnast, Duncan Carson, stand-up comedian. Follow me on Twitter. <laughs> But I'm not that into myself. I'm just the uh, Duncan. Dun dun <laughs> fucking Duncan. Give me one panino, all right? <laughs> so then, I'll go on the receipt. It'll be something that's not my name because I didn't hear it. It'll be like Doug or Dugan or one time at a Panera Bread, I got the word dump. <laughs> <laughs> 
D-U-M-P, dump. They said, what's your name? And I said, four. And they're like, did he say dump? Yeah, that's a name somebody would have for a, for a nickname somebody would repeat. <laughs> so here, now you guys know that happens to me a lot. I was at, I was at a burger joint uh, a little while ago and they, on the PA, they were like, Doug, your food is ready. This shit again, right, everybody? <laughs> so I went up to the counter and I'm just like, ah, oh, Doug, I know, mumbles. Hey, this isn't my food. And the girl looked at the receipt and she said, oh, oh uh, are you Doug? That should always be a yes or no question. <laughs> I can ask all of you if you're Doug and you'd say yes or no. Uh, I, de I decided to go with a, uh, well. <laughs> I don't know what I was gonna say next. But fortunately I was saved by a stranger standing right behind me who was like, I'm Doug and it was his food and that's the moment I realized I'm a crazy person. <laughs> They didn't have the whole backstory because they can't read my mind, so they thought I just wandered in off the street like, who's Doug? Is Doug a happy person? I'll be him. <laughs> hey, man, are you married? Is she a handsy gal? Because I haven't been intimate in a while. <laughs> I don't know. I just... It's an awkward situation, but I can't, I can't just go to like the regular fast food places anymore, you know what I mean? Like, I was at a Wendy's the other day at the drive-thru, and uh, when the guy handed me my food, he said something devastating. He was like, here you go, sir. See you tomorrow. <laughs> yeah, that's not what you want to hear at a Wendy's, all right? I didn't know how to react for a second. I did like... Do I come here every day? <laughs> I don't, guys, I don't. I Google it and it's a marketing strategy. They, they want their Wendy's employees to be like, see you tomorrow, like it's a 50s diner and you're gonna tell them about the big game or something. And I, I'm, I didn't, I'm not like a marketing guy, but I think they should go with something more reassuring, you know? Just like, maybe like Wendy's. We're very discreet. <laughs> Thanks everybody, have a great night.